Well, if you think about what's happening in the oil and gas industry now, it's sort of a digitization of the industry. And with that comes a lot of power requirements. Anywhere where you need autonomous energy uh, and real-time communication, our boy is applicable. The demand that we're seeing and feeling from the market feedback is really positive. This is a big difference from last year, where last year they didn't really know who Ocean Power Technologies was. It was new, the buoy was new. Now they are more seeing where we're going and, and see the value in it. We're happy to announce that we're working with ENI. We're, we've been working with Premier Oil, uh, and we're also happy to be teaming up with TampNet uh, concerning 4G. Uh, there's a lot of interest in new applications that haven't been realized until recently, specifically around new operators looking to, uh, to monitor drill sites as well as 4G opportunities. The OPT buoy could be used as a repeater station for our equipment and thereby provide a, an extension of our infrastructure and an extension of our reach into new areas. We're seeing demand also throughout South America for our power buoy, throughout Europe as well. We're also looking very hard at uh, Southeast Asia and what we might do further with MES. For the North Sea, it's a, it's a fairly mature area, so you have a lot of uh, structures offshore that are getting old and will be taken off station now. So what you see is that you can use the Power Boy uh, for many applications where you may need a guard vessel. You can use the Power Boy instead. You're putting power offshore where there's no other sources of viable power, or you're displacing very expensive sources of power. And that has the ability to change the industry. We're actually talking now to a lot of the AUV ROV companies because they're actually seeing the value in pairing our buoy with their, their technology. Now they can leave it in the water longer, they, can, they don't have to pull it out of the water to change out batteries and to um, download data, they can actually download it through the buoy. Then you have the opportunity to have resident ROVs which can stay in place and hook up to a power source recharge, go back out untethered, and then of course you have the uh, ability to have more flexibility in deployment for longer periods of time. We're absolutely on the growth path. In fact, this year we're happy to see new faces come in by the booth. The key over the next year is going to be getting buoys in the water in the oil and gas application. These buoys go out in the water, they provide power in places that nobody has ever done it before.